January 22nd, 1942, I was born in St. Lawrence County in upstate New York. And New York State has been my home ever since. Growing up on a farm as the oldest of five children, I learned how to put others' needs ahead of my own. Being adaptable and caring for my family has been a reoccurring theme throughout my life. I was married at 16 and a half, my husband Spencer Ashline. I met him when we, he moved into town and we soon started dating. He was two years older than me and he was very smart, very kind man. We were married July of 58 and moved over the course of the next eight years. We had five beautiful children together. However, on the 16th of February, two days after Valentine's Day in 1966, during a blizzard, Spencer was killed in a car crash. He was the love of my life. I had just turned 24. I had a rough few years. I was legally married two more times, but Spencer was always the one. The pastor called those from 1958 to 1978 my roaring 20 years. With my church and renewed faith, I was able to work through my hardships. I had become a working mother in a time when it was rare for mothers to work outside the home. I was forced to find work as a woman without a high school de degree. I was lucky I was able to secure many means of income over the years. I was a bus driver for 30 years at Stockbridge, a waitress, a home health aide, even became the head chef at one of the dining halls at Parks and College for a while. Things weren't cheap, so there was no health insurance when Spencer died, so I did what I had to do. Family and now my kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids are the most important thing in my life. They're all busy, but we always make time for each other. For most of my grandkids, I'm the only grandparent they have, and I want to be there for them. My ties to my family are so important because my children are like my link to the past and my link to Spencer. Even though he was taken at such a young age, I have faith that one day we'll be reunited.